Hello and welcome to windowsreport.com, I'm Henrik Fey. As we're used to, Windows is automatically downloading and installing the latest updates released by Microsoft. Whether we're talking about stability improvements, security updates or bug fixes for various apps for Windows Store. So how do you fix the update changes in Windows 10? First of all, you need to know how to enter save mode. Once the startup screen appears, press and hold F8 or shift F8. Then the load up, the loading up the advanced startup screen will appear. From the advanced startup screen, select choose an option and pick troubleshoot. Go ahead and select advanced options. From the next window, tap on startup settings and from there choose enable save mode. Once you're in save mode, you can delete the recently installed updates that cause your trouble. So the first method is to delete recently installed updates. All you have to do is go down, go to control panel, type it on the bottom left, go up until you see control panel and click on it. Once you're in here, go down to programs and click on it. Then go to programs and features and click on it again. On the left, you will now see view installed updates. Click on that. And now you need to uninstall all the recent updates. So you can see on the right when it was installed and delete some of these and restart your computer and see if it works. If it doesn't, try using the second method. The second method is to run your DISM. Some users have reported that running the DISM, Windows Deployment Image Service and Management, resolves this issue. And it might be helpful when dealing with the we couldn't complete the updates undoing changes error as well. So here's how to run the DSM, DISM in Windows 10. First of all, on the bottom left again, type in CMD. Right click on it and run it as an administrator. Then press yes. And now in here, type in the following. This is going to be in the description so you can copy and paste it by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V. All you have to do is type in this command and then hit enter. In case the DISM can't obtain files online, try using your installation USB or DVD. Insert media and type the following command. Again, this is going to be down in the description. This command. You just add a little bit of source in the back. Be sure to replace C repair, so the last path here, to the path of your DVD or USB. So for instance, if you have it on the X drive or whatever you want to use, instead of having the C here, type an X. And then the operation should last no more than five minutes. And the third method is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. This is a universal troubleshooter as it deals with various issues with the system from network problems to fail updates. All you have to do is go on the bottom left, go up to where it says settings and left click on it. Then once you're in here, go to update and security and click on it. Go down to troubleshoot on the bottom left and scroll until you see Windows Update. Left click on it and press on run the troubleshoot. And then follow further on screen instructions and restart your computer. I hope this helped you with your issue and we'll see you next time.